Do you remember the first time Yield changed your life? For me, it was right here in Bangkok. 17 year, years ago, during my very first forum retreat, there was one moment in particular that changed my life. In a corner by the pool at the Peninsula Hotel, we were participating in an exercise called the one-liner. It was a bonding exercise for the forum. If you've never tried it before, it is where you write down a dark, dark secret on a piece of paper, put it in a bowl, and then one is selected for sharing. I was very, very lucky that day, and mine was chosen. Emotionally and reluctantly, I shared with my forum that actually I had attempted suicide when I was young. I shared that growing up, I had a lot of insecurities, anxieties and fears. I was worried about disappointing people, and I was terrified I would not live up to my parents' expectations. I blamed my parents for many things. I felt they were always looking over my shoulder. They were calling me every day when I was at school, asking me the same questions. Do you have a test today? Do you have a test tomorrow? Do you have a test yesterday? But every day, so. And I felt that they were stifling my growth, that they were being overprotective. I didn't know any better. While my life didn't change overnight, in that moment, my forum got together, as many forums do, and shared their stories. Don't worry, I'm not gonna share any of my forum stories because I've actually forgotten half of them and it's confidential. But I was overwhelmed with support and a sense of belonging. It led to a period of steep self-reflection and I began to understand I wasn't alone. I began to understand that my parents loved me greatly, that they were just looking out for me and they want the best for me. I'm eternally grateful to my forum and you for helping me change my mindset and my life. In fact, my forum is here today and I would like to recognize them. Stand up, please. And they're sitting next to my parents and my family. Please, mom and dad. <laughs> Who are still looking after me. So, thank you. Looking out for me. Thank you, mom and dad, for everything. I love you. And my two kids. Hi. <laughs> but I also need to thank, you know, allow me to take the opportunity to thank the most important person in my, in my life and also the most patient person in the world. The reason is she's married to me and has to be the most patient person. Angie, thank you very much for supporting me on this EO journey. I wanted to tell you this story because sharing will play an important role in the year ahead. In the past few months, I have been thinking a lot about how we can continue to de deliver maximum value to our membership. And I believe it starts with sharing. YEO will be turning 30 next year, and we have come a long way since our founding. Along with the name change 10 years ago, and the elimination of our age restriction five years ago, our demographics have changed, and they will continue to change. Among our priorities this year, we will strive to become a more representative and diverse membership when it comes to gender, nationality, and age. As a lifetime organization, we are also mandated to serve our peers in all stages of their entrepreneurial journey. Knowing this, how do we continue to be a valuable resource for entrepreneurs everywhere. How do we bring new value to our membership? And how do we prevent members who are leaving from thinking that YEO is no longer relevant? 
After much re reflection, I realize the answers lie not with any one of us, but it lies with every member. It is in all of us. It is through sharing our passions, our fears, our interests, our expertise, and most importantly, our experiences that we can create new value in our own lives and the lives of, of others. This concept is at the heart of our new theme, Share to Learn, Share for Life. It's a simple concept, but it brings with it powerful results. When we choose to share, we open up, up ourselves to the experiences of others. And those experiences invite solutions into our world. They make us stronger leaders, more complete entrepreneurs, and better people. As we get older, we encounter new problems. 17 years ago, I was immature, naive, insecure, and freaked out. But I learned how to move beyond all of that with the support of my forum. Now I face different challenges, like leading this organization, which is, in a way, as I said, very stressful. But um, My point is, sharing gave me the tools to persevere. Sharing gave me the confidence to become a better forum mate, father, husband, son, and entrepreneur. I shared to learn, and now I'm sharing for life. But I'm not the only one. Let's hear what others have to, other members think about sharing. EO gives us the platform and the venue and the trust and respect to be able to share about our professional life, our personal life, and our family. And as viewers, if we can have that advantage of sharing that learning and sharing for life, for living, I'm sure that we can succeed as awesome human beings. And what share to learn means is that before you get, you need to give. And if you're willing to give, it's amazing what others are willing to give you in return. So when I first joined EO, I was uh, excited to fit in, but uh, I learned a lesson that um, all I had to do was share. I'm ready to share to learn and to share for life. I'm ready to share to learn, share for life. I'm ready to share to learn and share for life. As you can see, sharing plays a valuable role in our entrepreneurial journey. But it is about more than just opening up in forum. It's about living your passions and inviting others to do the same within YO. It is about giving back through shared experiences and passions. Last year, as a liaison to the US Central Region, I was invited by Elizabeth Niedringhaus a regional director for U.S. Central to help build a house in a Christian community in Tijuana. She chose to do that instead of going to a meeting room to have our regional council meeting. To be honest, I really hated the idea at first. As mentioned early, earlier, I was a little bit pampered growing up, and as the Malaysians know, I hate ants. And so the idea of building a house out in the open in Mexico didn't seem like a lot of fun for me, and I wanted to call in sick. But I'm a Christian, so I, I thought, God and Gilberto will find out, so I better go. But as it turned out, it was one of my most satisfying experiences. Elizabeth Niedringhaus created new value for me by just sharing her passion. Because of that experience, building a home for a single mother with five kids who was living in a 40 square foot room, by sharing her passions, I walked away, and actually our regional council who went, walked away with a greater appreciation for giving back. While giving back in this way may not be suitable for everyone, the point is, it is to share your passions, whatever they may be, so that others can get more out of their YEO experiences. 30 years ago, YEO was founded by a group of entrepreneurs 
who saw sharing as a solution, and it's been a big part of our DNA since. Let's keep that tradition going. Everyone here today has the power to change lives. As member leaders, we are the ambassadors of experience sharing, and we are the examples of how impactful this contribution can be. Not only is it our responsibility to share, but to truly maximize this value, to build a community of contributors. It is our duty to encourage all our members to share by learning and sharing ourselves and leading the charge. In doing so, we can unleash the full power of this amazing organization. The more we give to YEO, the more valuable our community becomes and the more valuable our community become, we become to one another. It all starts here at GLC. It all starts here with us. I am so honored and thankful for the opportunity to be able to share with you my passions and stories in the coming year. So I can continue to develop myself and have fun with you along the way. This year, I encourage all of us to make the investment because when we share to learn, we will share for life. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a nice warm round of applause. Ivan Ting.